back to Chicago Cars Direct, friends. This car is absolutely amazing. What we're gonna spend some time with here today is a 2007 Mercedes-Benz S65, which is the twin turbo V12, 604 horsepower. Wow. the S65 you're gonna find the 6 liter V12 engine. Now uh, as stated this is a twin turbocharged engine. Uh, absolutely incredible. I mean you could see this is a large car and that engine really takes up the whole engine bay but uh, this was hand built by one person and his name was Joachim Schmidt. Thanks buddy. Uh, 604 horsepower, 738 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, this is routed to the 5-speed. I know Mercedes-Benz does make a 7-speed automatic. Uh, you don't need seven speeds with this kind of power. You only need five ratios to get yourself moving, but uh, really an unbelievable car. It's virtually brand new. It's covered 20,000 miles. It's a two-year off-lease car from Mercedes-Benz. Uh, we are extraordinarily lucky that we got our hands on this one, but uh, there's a lot to learn. Spend some time with us today. All right, let's check it out. Uh, there are no cosmetic flaws in this car. Uh, I want to shake the hand of whoever the previous owner was uh, who had this car. He probably just got another one. I mean, he took such great care of this car. I can't imagine he wouldn't be in love with these. But uh, across the front, like I said, there's nothing to uh, discuss. I mean, there's not even rock chips in the front here. Uh, this was a Texas registry car, so I'm not sure if it was a rural car, but it very well could have been. You can see the front park sensors here. That's uh, front and rear park. Uh, you also do have a backup camera in the rear, but a uh, set of bi on headlamps here, and you got a pop-up window sprayer. But this is part of the uh, AMG. It's not even the sport package. It's a real AMG car, so this is an AMG spec bumper. You can see the uh, extra grill here. I believe that's a little bit of extra brake venting as well as uh, engine cooling. We'll take a walk around to the side here. You do have a standard 20 inch wheel on here. Now this is a uh, chrome version of the factory wheel. Uh, 225 35 ZR20 on the front. Uh, immaculate. I mean the chrome on here, there's no pitting. It's mirror clean. I could probably floss my teeth in the reflection. <laughs> and these, uh, there's got to be like 50 pistons in that caliper. I mean that's a huge caliper. Of course there's no 50 piston calipers, but you know. I had to say that anyway. cross drilled rotor. V12 by turbo. Obviously lets everybody know that you mean business. Driver's side's perfect. Uh, it's keyless ignition, what they call their keyless ghost. So as long as you have a key on you, you can get in and out, lock it, unlock it. Uh, all the way in the back here, you'll see a little bit wider spec tire. But again, uh, these are Pirelli P0s. I did not mention that. Uh, 275-35ZR20. Uh, and again, an immaculate chrome wheel. See the glass is a light tint all the way around. Uh, it actually, I think, complements this car. I'll usually take the tints off, but... Not today. Uh, panoramic roof gives it a black roof line. Uh, on the rear here, S65 badging is proper. Uh, everything's all in the right place. You can tell the car has not been compromised. Those tailpipes are pretty amazing. Uh, those are specific to the 65 model. And then down the passenger side, it's uniform to the driver. Uh, and it's really immaculate. Nothing to talk about. car is nearly every S-Claps option available, so you'd expect the power trunk. You can see, obviously, it pops right open. Uh, excellent set of the AMG floor mats here. Uh, they're really in great condition. Even the driver's mat is, is very, very pretty. But uh, same dimensions uh, on exterior and interior as far as the uh, S-Class long wheelbase cars go. Well, you can see there, obviously, it reaches really deep under the floor here. You've got the mini spare with full tools there. Uh, looks like it's never been touched. Look at the inside, you got a two-tone interior. Actually, the door here is probably a best uh, representation. You can see the uh, leather stitching all through here, but you've got a darker tan up here and a lighter tan in the middle, uh, more of a neutral. But uh, you can see on here you've got uh, power seats, dual power seats, a three-position memory for both driver and passenger. Uh, they are heated and ventilated. And then you also have your power trunk switch as well as a power window switch here for the rear sunshades and the rear power windows. But then when I step into this car, I mean, it's every bit of luxury you'd expect from Mercedes-Benz. Uh, obviously, just absolutely decadent material. Uh, you can see the stitching right along here. you got the darker leather up top. Again, lower part is uh, more of like an ivory. But over here, you're going to see you got the setting for the uh, night vision here. If you pop this on uh, at night, the night vision display will pop on right there. Uh, automatic setting for the xenons there, the pop-up headlamp sprayers. Uh, power tilt and telescope steering wheel, as you'd expect. And this is the uh, wood steering wheel with the leather inserts on the side.
man, that ignition, I'll tell you, it almost startles you to the point you can just feel that engine just fires right up. And I mean, we're in probably what I would consider the best class, or the best car in the world. Uh, the S class is, I mean, even after the redesign, I like the previous body, but this really doesn't hold a candle to anything. Or I guess I should say, nothing holds a candle to this car. Uh, all your trivialities as far as the uh, appointments, you've got a special spec uh, AMG gauge here. You can see a 220 mile an hour speedometer, uh, which I believe this car unlimited or something like that. I think because the ratios, it'll go like 208 or 210. That's if you can find somebody to unlock it for you. Uh, that'd be quite a thrill ride, huh? Uh, but a great layout here. You can see you got night vision in here. Let me turn the lights on. You can see the night vision display right there, the Hummer and our Lexus GS right in front of us. And then you also have a multi-function display here that you can get uh, a bunch of information uh, off of and you have a special uh, AMG uh, setting here with a stopwatch right in the middle there but this is essentially a TV screen like I said I'll hit that again uh, over here you got the small row of buttons this is actually height adjustable this will raise the suspension uh, ESP will turn off your electronic stability program although you probably would never want to do that in this car uh, park distance control and the rear camera as well and you can actually turn this screen uh, so if the passenger wanted to use it, uh, they could get a very good look at it from where you're at. But since I'm driving, I'm going to keep it where I want it. Up here you're going to find what's called the uh, Mercedes-Benz Command System. Now this houses your navigation, uh, all the audio functions, uh, your Bluetooth connectivity for your phone. Uh, it does say video. You can't play videos through here. I haven't done that. And then you have the vehicle setting. But uh, you can see where we're at right there. Uh, if I go to audio, we can go through our various audio sources. It's going to show you we've got uh, obviously radio, satellite radio. A CD, DVD audio does go through the CD player, can play MP3 discs, and you also have an auxiliary function. Now, that CD changer is mounted actually right in the dashboard in front of you here. You got six disc, uh, single slot right here. And then below that, this is a full size SD uh, memory card slot, so you can actually use your memory card to listen to music on here. Uh, if you go to phone here, once the phone is paired, you can actually just use this uh, just to make your phone calls. Uh, down by the controller here, there's actually a little keypad. If I flip that open with my phone paired, I can just dial right here and hang up, start my call, and keep on driving with my day. It's pretty simple. I really love that setup. Uh, we go back here, we go to video. We don't have anything in for video right now. And then uh, vehicle. This will go through all of your various vehicle functions. Uh, just your settings and uh, everything along those lines. Right here, real simple. This is actually your entire uh, climate control system. You've got uh, automatic function. They are actually uh, two separate settings. It's like having two entire different climate control systems. You've got fan speed, uh, individual on both sides. You've also got the uh, direction in which the air flows on both sides. So uh, you can see it'll actually on the on the lower row here. It'll give you your information. So I'm dialed in at 66. Uh, passenger side's dialed in at 67, uh, and that's really it. Another neat thing is this rest function. When you turn the car off, hit this, and it'll actually circulate the air in the car for I think 15 or 20 minutes. It's pretty neat. The whole console here is pretty simple, but this does control most of your media functions that go through the uh, command system. Uh, up here you got quick functions. This will take you, flip you through your telephone navigation. This will flip you through uh, radio to disc. This will take you back to the previous screen. And if I pop this one up, you'll see that the uh, massage function comes up. These are what they call active multi-contour uh, seats and it's got a pulse, pulse massage function. Uh, also with what they call driver dynamics. Uh, that will actually use these bolsters to keep you in place. Uh, so as you're cornering, the bolsters will hold you. Uh, over here you got a button SMC, that's sport manual and comfort. So that's all your shift modes. Uh, this will knock the rear headrest down, and this is set to deploy the rear sunshade. And then here you've got on, volume, and mute for your stereo right up there. Just all quick access. And this knob right here will facilitate all the control of the entire system. Pretty simple to use. And then above my head here, I've got the panoramic moonroof. Two panels of glass. This one pops up, slides all the way back. With an Alcantara headliner. This rear seat won't disappoint you at all. Uh, this is probably the first car I think I've actually demonstrated with power rear seats. Uh, it's an option even on the 65, but uh, to recline. This is really comfortable leather. I mean, this feels like the front seats, but with this down, I've got the dual uh, TVs here with DVD player. Uh, also, this is a complete four zone climate control, so I just have to dial up my favorite temperature right there. And we also have power rear sunshades. You can pop the one up in the back. And I can pop this one up right here. And if I so choose, I even have my own control of the roof shade here. Now I'm in a little quiet cocoon. Awesome. Just awesome.
you know, I know I'm going to display the car, but obviously I want you to just close your eyes for a second. Just transcend the fact that you could sit behind this wheel and just think of how everything tactile vision. I mean, the three point star on the hood there, you can see it beautifully at the end. Uh, but you know, the only thing that reminds you that there's 600 horsepower in this car is really just this AMG uh, badge here. And at that point it really doesn't say V12, but when you add the V12 badge here and the AMG there, only combo there, it's 604 horsepower from the factory. All right. Got the Navi dialed in. These 12 cylinders are just buttery smooth. I mean, it's even quiet. You know, to make 600 horsepower and be this quiet, I guess you'd really only expect that of a world-class car, and this is a Mercedes-Benz S-Class. And, in my opinion, the most accomplished Mercedes-Benz S-Class. This is the pinnacle of, uh, you know, the legend of the car. Uh, immensely torquey. You got 738 uh, pound-feet of torque. You know, a third into the throttle just gets you going. Uh, I have yet to actually even try to open it up because I don't think there's a... Uh, I think, uh, you know, it's 32 degrees out right now. I'm not sure we're going to be able to even get it to hook up with this kind of power, but uh, this is absolutely remarkable. Uh, and like I said before, I'm, I'm rarely intimidated by a car. Uh, I will say I, I have a genuine intimidation of this car. It's just so worldly. It's so proper. It's so impressive. I mean, these massage seats are awesome. I'm going to turn my massage seat back on. go fast and vigorous and I'm cruising this really is uh, this is the car I would choose to drive coast to coast money no object this is the car I'm gonna go for a comfy cruise here actually no, I'm gonna put it back in comfort we're scared on the highway we're in some traffic and I mean think of how quiet this car really is but look what's coming up behind us. Oh boy. Oh, hi, truck. Oh, and he's signaling over, so maybe what we'll do here, since we're in sport mode, and we're teed up pretty much to be where we want to be. S65, here goes 604 horsepower. Oh my gosh, this car was even just getting his legs when I let off there. This is how quiet that was. Here, give one more roll. It's just buttery smooth. You can't feel anything in this car. I shouldn't say that. You can't feel, you can feel a lot. You don't hear. Uh, it's that blend of refinement again. You know, if you watch the CL550 video we just did, I said exactly that is that Mercedes Benz is kind of starting to perfect that. Uh, BMW formula of refinement with performance, but you know, with still an emphasis on luxury. Uh, this, in my opinion, is the best four door sedan in the world. I mean, the S Class right now, I think, is the best car in the world, in my opinion, but this being the top of the heap, what else is out there like this? What? That's right, nothing. seen some of our previous stuff. I mean, you've seen me drive Lamborghinis, Porsche Turbos. I mean, you know I've driven probably uh, almost every Ferrari uh, make under the sun. But what's really remarkable is I'm really intimidated by this car. Uh, I've used the term automotive royalty before. I almost want to rescind every time I've said that because I have to say this is probably the most intimidating and awe-inspiring car uh, I think I've driven. Uh, it's really immaculate and I just hope I get to meet the owner because uh, I want to shake his hand. It's a pretty amazing car. On uh, my hand here, i got a couple great pieces of info. I do have the uh, Netstar uh, sheet from Mercedes-Benz. Uh, the car is uh, Arctic White over Savannah Beige exclusive leather. Uh, that'll make you feel important. Uh, really not a whole lot of options on these cars. Like I said, they really do come standard with everything. Uh, Panoramic, Moonroof, and Parktronic are the two uh, that were on there. And then they definitely did add the uh, rear entertainment system. That was not a Mercedes-Benz add-on. Uh, and I believe it looks like they spent about $1,800 on that setup alone. Uh, but the car's four-year, 50,000-mile factory warranty from Mercedes-Benz will run you through December 11th, 2011. So you got a huge chunk of that left. Uh, obviously, some that's a huge vote of confidence on this car. Uh, and also, I've got the auto check and uh, Carfax vehicle history reports. Uh, as I stated, one owner car came out of Texas and squeaky clean. 
uh, as the car shows. But go to our website where Dave took some unbelievable pictures of this car. Uh, you'll find those pictures at chicagocarsdirect.com. And then when you're done there, check out our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. We're also on Facebook. You guys have been finding us out there. It's pretty cool. And uh, if you go to Twitter to find us, we're not there. Uh, we'll spend some time. Uh, thanks for spending some time with us. We'll see you next time.